Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak here. Um, hope you had a wonderful Christmas. New Year's is coming up. One thing I wanted to bring up was a few things that uh, I saw. Uh, I watch a channel, sometimes I watch a channel from Japan, and it's called uh, Real Wannabe. Okay, I don't get the name, but Real Wannabe is the name of the YouTuber. And... Um, he, he's one of those YouTubers, he looks very young, you know, to me he looks like he could be 17, 18 years old. He could be older than that though, because he does travel around a lot. But anyhow, he has these big black glasses and and uh, he now has a fish room in Japan, a private fish room than when he first started. But the one thing I noticed about his YouTube channel is he, he has a lot of tanks he has to take down constantly. You know, he puts up tanks, he takes them down. He does a lot of uh, ADA stuff. I think he works in an aquarium store, is his job. Anyhow, he did a video, aquascaping for my favorite nano fish using, and he's going to be using an undergravel filter. So this is something never talked about. Uh, it's a even flow 60 undergravel filter, and he says he's going to make a tank using that instead of his normal method of just um, taking a substrate like everybody does and just tossing it at the bottom of the aquarium. And I've been watching this guy for quite a while. And um, the thing about, about it is he's constantly taking tanks, putting them up, taking them down. It's always because of algae problems. Okay. Every tank it seems to have always seems to have an algae problem. So I think he's going to try something new. But I thought I'd bring that up because in Japan, here's a YouTuber now going to use something a little different, like an undergravel filter. Uh, let's hope he uses it correctly. Maybe he won't be taking his tanks down constantly. I mean, I've been watching him for two, three years, and, you know, I can vouch for it. Yeah, he, the guy just takes his tanks down because, and it's always the same reason. You know, it's never uh, anything else except, oh, I'm getting algae problems all over the plants or whatever, and I have to take the tank down, and I'm going to restart it and clean it up. And he's constantly doing that. It's almost like, you know, after a while, it's almost like, why would I listen to somebody like you? Because you're constantly having problems. You know, uh, if you're having those problems, what are the chances I wouldn't have those problems? So anyhow, uh, I'm not bad mouthing him or anything. It's just this is just the way his channel is, and I understand because that's what people have been telling people. And so far, I've been doing this since 2014, bringing up about anoxic filtration, bringing up about plenums, how they work, why under gravel filters went out of favor. There was nothing wrong with them. A lot of people say, "Oh, they're antiquated equipment." Yeah, but they worked. You know. Um, if it works, why would you get rid of it? I was watching another video about uh, some aquariums that you can buy, these all-in-one aquariums. Another thing I want to bring up, and you can buy like these little 15 cube aquariums. They're 15 inches by 15 inches by 15 inches, and they're about 15 to 14 to 15 gallons of water. And a lot of these are being sold as all-in-one. Some of them are very expensive because they give you a lot of stuff for salt water. Some of them are uh, cheaper or inexpensive, no more than like $99 for one of these aquariums. And they have a built-in filter. And I thought I would get one of these to show people whether or not you want to make salt water or whether or not you want to make a fresh water out of it for the price. Because I looked at some price points of $99 and really there's... Not a lot you can buy out there. Like if you go to Petco, the Aquian, they make a 14-gallon aquarium. That's about the same footprint. And it doesn't have a built-in filter or anything, and they want $99 for it. Okay, so here this manufacturer is actually well-known manufacturer making 15-gallon aquariums, and they are built-in filters. And I think you get a filter sock and a pump with it. You don't get lighting or anything. Basically, that's what you get for your $99. You get the filter, get a pump to start it. I think a 130-gallon-hour pump and a filter sock. 
and you can change anything you want. It's basically for salt water, but like everything else, like the Fluvals that had all the one built-in filters into their aquariums, this is nothing new for salt or fresh water. So anyhow, I thought I would get something like that to show people that uh, how you would set one up if you decide to get one. Because in a way, if you think about it, if you buy one of these $99 all-in-one 15-gallon aquariums, okay, you don't have to worry about um, pumps. You, you get the pump with it, but you don't have to worry about hanging on the back filters, you know, making it stick away from the wall, unsightly hanging the back filters, unsightly canister filters where you're going to put it, you don't have to worry about a canister filter. You don't have to worry about sponge filters. Everything is contained in the filter. It's built into the aquarium itself. And that's that's pretty good. If you're looking for something nice and clean, and can you make one of these with a plenum without using a bubbler? Using the pump that is provided. And yes, you can. So I was going to show that, to show people that, look, you can buy one of these aquariums, set it up for fresh water. I will show you how to set it up. I will show you how to put a plenum in it. I will show you how to use the plenum where the pump that you have will also run the plenum. So one pump runs everything. So you don't have to worry about bubble noise or anything else. Another thing about these all-in-one uh, tanks is the fact that... Uh, they're very quiet, and your heater and everything is all hidden. So the only thing that's in the tank is basically the tank, or your hardscape, your substrate, and your fish. There are no unsightly sponge filters or anything, because everything is hidden. And there's nothing underneath the tank. So that really, I thought, would appeal to people to see that this is something that seems to be a trend these all-in-one filtered aquarium. So when, because I've been doing this so long, Google informs me of something that comes up with the anoxy filter. If there's uh, any news or anything else, Google will send me something saying, hey, there's something with the anoxy filter. You may want to look at it. Okay. So anyhow, so in this part of the video, this is the uh, Smithfield Foods uh, wastewater treatment system that they have done. And as you can see right behind the treatment system is the uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota River. Okay. And uh, which they call the Big Sioux River. Anyhow. Uh, Smithfield Foods announced in the late July it had constructed a new waste water treatment system at its port processing facility in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. According to the company, the $45 million project, which replaced much of the existing wastewater treatment system at the complex, adds an additional treatment process and capabilities and will significantly reduce Smithfield's overall nitrogen load to the nearby Big Sioux River. This new state-of-the-art wastewater project reinforces Smithfield's uh, proactive approach to implementing sustainable systems that improve environmental quality and benefits to the community. Okay, more than likely the community told them, get your, get your act together and you have to uh, we put restrictions on them. So you know how companies are. They always make like, oh, look what we're doing. Yeah, they're doing it because they probably were told, clean up your act. Okay, anyhow, the, in the article, uh, if you want to read it, this Google Smithfield Foods, uh, let's see, it was a Q&A kind of thing. And one of the questions that were asked in the article is, uh, can you explain the denitrification process and why that is such an important aspect of this system. Okay, so they're speaking, I guess they're speaking to uh, this uh, this particular guy, Stuart Leith, Chief Sustainability Officer of Smithfield. Okay, and uh, apparently they're talking to him. 
And the answer was, we use the same bugs to treat the wastewater in the denitrification process as we do in the nitrification process. The difference is that we alter the amount of oxygen that is available for the bugs. Does this sound familiar? Does this exactly sound familiar to everybody who's watching my channel? Exactly what I've been teaching you since, what, 2014. In an oxygen-rich environment, the bugs will turn ammonia in the wastewater into nitrates. When the oxygen is changed, so there is a little or no free oxygen, they eat the nitrates, harvesting the O2 off the nitrate ion while they chew up the organic material. To have the system reduce nitrates to the needed levels of our permit, we recirculate every gallon of water approximately four times through the process. We need both the aerobic and anoxic portion of the system to change all the ammonia into nitrates and then get 70% plus reduction of the nitrates into nitrogen gas. This is exactly what I've been telling you about how our aquariums work. This is the reason, of course, as I've told you several times, why the Schober plenum became popular is because it was literally doing this. It was literally uh, making anoxic conditions to consume nitrates and phosphates. In the interim, I looked over the under gravel filters, as everybody knows, and realized they did the same thing. They were basically a plenum, and they did the same thing, but we just misused it. That's all, plain and simple. We just misused it. Now today, everybody on their YouTube channels are talking about it. But several years ago, nobody even heard about it. Nobody knew about it. And everybody still advocated the nitrogen cycle. Even today, the nitrogen cycle is still being advocated as uh, ammonia to nitrites to nitrates. And then you do water changes or you use plants or, you know, the old antiquated way of how we used to think. This is the way to take care of nitrates. And as we all know, that was just the hobbyist way of doing things. It was not the way of course, our wastewater treatment plants do it. It's not the way that uh, our college and universities are teaching it or anything else. It was just the hobbyist way. It was the easiest way to get around a hard subject, a tough subject, until I started researching the anoxic filtration system and found out that it was quite easy, quite easy for the hobbyists to reduce nitrate and phosphates. And basically, like I've told you in the past, it was done because of koi. Koi do not like nitrates. Uh, their colors are better and get a better sheen to their skin if the nitrates are extremely low to non-existent. So this article, if you're interested in it, there's, there's all kinds of uh, uh, information in it. I don't know if you'd be interested in it or not, but I thought I would bring it up because it's interesting to see that right here we have it uh, as quoted into the article, we need both aerobic and anoxic portions of the system. And remember, nobody heard about anoxic. I thought it was interesting that Japan now, or the guy from Japan is going to start using an undergravel filter. Let's see if he does it right. And uh, happy, fi oh, there was one more thing I'll bring up. I went to Petco, they had the 50% sale. Just was there yesterday. They have no 125 gallon tanks. They have no 75 gallon tanks. And they have no uh, 40 gallon breeders. All they have is the Aquian tanks that are like cubes, you know, the more expensive aquariums that are cubes and stuff. Because uh, they do sell a, a cube, you know, 15 by 15 by 15 footprint. You know, it's like 100 bucks. So, uh, yeah, that's 50% 50, 50, 50 off of that because all their aquariums, where's their stock at? See, like I told you, every time you put a sale on Petco, they have no stock. So you put it, you know, 
It's kind of aggravating. It's year after year after year. Carry some stock so you can uh, let people buy that 50% off deal. No, no, no stock. You know, and they won't order it. No rain checks. So anyhow, until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.